What's up everyone, it's Dan from NZ Octane here and today I am going to be rolling the fenders on this car, on the RX-8. That's why in the last video you could see all this shit laying around because it's the same day and I'm literally recording this right after but I figured I'd probably do it in two videos. So yeah, I've basically been having a problem where with these new rims, discovered it yesterday, um, my mate sat in the car and this side was so low just because the suspension's fucking shit and um, it's been cutting into the tire here as you can see which isn't good and I don't want that so I'm going to be doing a bit of DIY to fix that so basically I saw a technique online where you can use a book and lower the car down onto it after heating it up like this in there and it'll basically push it out a little bit except for the fact this book isn't thick enough and this doesn't go down low enough so I got out this and I'm basically just gonna chuck them both under there book on top of the uh, metal bar and maybe just try and roll it uh, while heating it and seeing if that helps sort of bring it out this way and off there worst comes to worst I'll have to get a mallet or something and fucking try and smack this up up here but we will see how it goes let's see how this shit goes I'll jack this up first so basically the idea is I'll chuck this book under here just to sort of protect the paint and give it a bit more space and this use this bar and sort of roll it like that while when it's being heated and all that it's probably best done with three arm see how it goes heat gun time never done anything like this before so huge learning curve um, if you guys have any tips and tricks let me know in the comments and I might include it in the next video and sort of help other people out That actually works. What do you know? So, as you can see in there, up in there, this little bit here, it's still quite warm, um, managed to roll that back up. So now, we're just gonna do that all along here, try and roll that up. Just, and sort of just keep, keep working on it till we get it right. Grab yourself a book, like a metal tube or something, I grabbed this off another jack and that actually works pretty well for just a home job to, yeah for a home job not too bad, not too shabby, still got to do up here, might just roll it a little bit there and hopefully it's all right on this side. The other side doesn't seem to be too bad, the other side haven't, hasn't scraped but I just think that the shock all the suspension's gone on this side and it's just, that's what's causing the problem. Sweet, so I just got my dad to sit in the car to see what the clearance was like because my mate who sat in it last night, he's a bit heavier than my girlfriend Ruby. It's not saying anything mean, but um, it is what it is. And yeah, so that was when I discovered that the guard was actually rubbing against the, um, the tire. So I just got my dad to sit in it who's about the same weight as my mate. And yeah, when he sat in it, there was a nice, nice bit of clearance under here, so it made a massive difference. Um, just rolling it that little bit, pushing it up, just so that way there's not a sharp edge uh, scraping it. Got to take it for a drive, see how it goes. But yeah, apparently all you need to roll your guards, if you want to do it on the cheap like myself and not actually buy a guard roller, is 
a jack or hydraulic jack or whatever you call them lift um metal bar heat gun and an old book that you don't give a shit about and that's basically all that you need to do it you just jack it up heat up the guard lower the um lower the car back down onto the book and the metal pipe or whatever that you got and that seems to do the trick so that's basically the end of this video thank you guys very much for watching hope you stay till the end like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one see you next time i do something to the car and hopefully see you guys on a few more adventures